What in the world am I looking at right now? The Utah Werewolf for $900. Why? Hey guys, so if you follow my Instagram, then you probably already know that last weekend I went on a camping expedition with my sister and my brother-in-law and their friend and Bobby. And during this camping expedition, we camped out in an area that is only reachable by the river, nobody else was around us, and we went through a pretty traumatizing experience. To keep the story as short as possible, at around midnight while we were camping out, our area started getting swarmed by these alien insect-looking creatures. Creatures. This alien insect looking creature. They started burrowing up from the ground and there was so many of them so quickly that we did not know where to step. Like, that's how many of them there were. I had to constantly be looking where I was stepping so I didn't crush them. And then even if we tried to crush them, which we did, we did. I don't even feel bad about it. They didn't die. And we had no idea what they were. So finally, after running to the tent and zipping up every little last hole in the tent to make sure they didn't come in, even though I didn't sleep all night because I thought they were, I googled and found out that they are called Helgramites. I wish, I wish I videoed the entire incident but I was literally having a panic attack. But we do have a couple clips and photos here. And also I'm gonna link my sister's channel in the description below because she's gonna be making an actual full video of the trip and she has some more. And then when I got home, I decided to look up some more Helgramite info on Reddit. And oh look, here's another image. They're such beautiful, majestic creatures. Oh look, it's a close-up video clip somebody took of one. It's like I'm reliving my worst nightmare. They're not small either. Look, they put a quarter in. They put a quarter in so you can see the size. I mean, super scary dramatic music better be playing right now. And if you thought Helgramites were scary on their own, oh no, 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 that is not their final form. This is their final form. Oh, my god! I did not even know that this type of insect or creature existed in this world. But now I do, and I am forever traumatized to ever, ever spend time in the outdoors. And honestly, you may be like, Lauren, I think you're over-exaggerating. There couldn't possibly have been that many Helgramites coming out of the ground. Like the spawn of Satan. Well, you're wrong. I have many witnesses that were there with me that can verify that at least over a hundred of these things climbed out around our campsite. I don't know how I didn't just give up and go into the fetal position and let them eat me. But anyway, it spawned the idea for this video. Looking through Reddit's WTF forum. Because when I first looked up Helgramites on Reddit, this was the forum they were posted on. And I think it's pretty fitting. And I just need to look at more experiences of people seeing things that make them go WTF. Because that's definitely the situation I was in this weekend. It was half a WTF situation and half like a mini version of an alien horror movie. That was a pretty good description. Alright, let's see what we got. So first up is this thing. I mean, I figured I'd stay on point with the creepy creatures from around the world that you didn't know existed. I mean, I think this is just a regular eel, but it is the most terrifying eel ever. Oh my god. And just remember, all of these things just make you want to be like, WTF. Like, for example, this. <laughs> Why? I mean, I like the googly eye addition to this. I just, I don't understand. I just don't get the correlation between rabbit and bread. Is it bad that I still want to eat that bread, though? It's a little bad. So this picture makes me feel a little bit better about my Helgramite situation story that I told you about. This is all tent caterpillars. Actually, I probably would have been more okay with a thousand caterpillars than a hundred of those other things. We also had a lot of caterpillars on the trip because it is tent caterpillar season. I didn't know what a tent caterpillar was until now. They're those like little furry ones, but at least they turn into butterflies and not those horrifying flying giant wing pincer things that I showed earlier. Wow, this guy must watch a lot of Shane Dawson. It's the conspiracy mobile. If you are addicted to cat and dog, you have a nano chip in your body. Oh no. I'm addicted to my dog. I must have nano chip in in my body. Takes videos, photos of the truck, and spread the news in the internet.
internet. I'm doing just that, my dude. You're all welcome. All the diseases are created with computer. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know I was creating diseases via YouTube. I've been infecting you with the disease of weirdness. It's called Carnival Ride Surfing. Oh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hold on, I need to see that again. Look at that skill! Look at that poise! He is my hero! Guys, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I think whoever took this photo is trying to lure me into buying this rental building. They're like, hmm, how could we lure Lauren into an abandoned building? Oh, yeah, hang bread from it! I just... I don't understand. WTF. I mean, if this was meant for me, then I understand. But if it was not meant for me, why? Actually, if anything, this was a brilliant marketing tactic because now people like this person will take pictures of this and spread uh, the sign and the phone number to call if you would like this magnificent spot. I mean, well done. Well done, actually. Well done. What am I looking at right now? The title was The Lady in My Neighborhood Likes to Enhance Her Garden with Dolls and Stuff. Here is the Royal Wedding. Oh my god, it's like a fairy tale. Why does the doll look like it has a golden arm? And and also, is the princess a pillow with an afro wig on it? I have so many questions. The title for this one was, When You Want to Beat the Heat But You're Super Hungry. Derek Sauce City. Sauce-themed amusement park. Open weekends in my backyard. Marinara slide. Hummus balloon fights. Mother-daughter bonding pool. Alfredo. <laughs> Why? This may be one of the greatest signs I've ever seen, ever. I wanna go to Sauce City. Oh, wow. Okay. This was labeled, this terrifying patio heater who lives in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> Picturing walking in the backyard of this house at night and seeing this. This looks like Spongebob has risen from the depths of hell to drag you back down with him. This is labeled, this is a Christmas decoration. I mean, I would have it in my house. Dear Queen, yas. That's, that's me. If you're new to the channel, I'm dear, I'm dear queen from, from other series. You'll learn. You'll learn. This deer looks really sad. Kinda wanna give it a hug. It looks like a sad old lady. It's just like, why don't my children come to visit me anymore? Oh god, it's making me sad. This sh this image should not make me sad. It should make me be like, WTF. Well, perfect, because this image makes me do that. What? In the world am I looking at right now? The Utah werewolf for $900 comes out on a full moon. So I'm trying to wrap my head around what I'm staring at right now. I have a feeling that it is the butt of a deer and they flipped up the tail of the deer and put these fake teeth fangs under that and covered like, you know, the the butt, and then just put these eyes on the side, and then, and then this thing was created. Why? My brain is just, it's melting. I don't know what I'm looking at. Pretty sure I've deciphered what it is. Also, who's gonna spend $900 on it? I mean, I kind of want it, but not for $900. Maybe like five dollars. Person who created this, if you want to mail this thing to me, for five dollars, I would greatly appreciate it. Actually, that's kind of over-exaggerating. I would kind of, sort of, think it was cool for a little bit, and then probably would burn it. Oh god. Okay, so... We're staring at... Uh, a, a action figure that was made out of dead bug pieces and parts. I kind of hope that there's some Helgramite in there, because that would make me feel better about my situation last weekend. Like, kind of revenge, in a weird way. But why? But why? I feel bad. Did they not have enough money to buy toys? Because I'll send you money to buy a toy. This is enough proof that you need it more than anybody else. It's Insectatron. I, I don't know. I was trying to make a Transformers joke that did not land. I mean, he looks pretty terrifying, though. I would not mess with him. He would be a great villain. Transformers, take notes. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh- I love the guy that was walking toward it and he was like, Today's gonna be a good day at work. Oh no, oh no, oh, okay. He just like stops dead, he's like, I don't, I don't know what to 
do in this situation? This is called Danger Water. I think it's a pretty accurate title. It's like, hmm, which would you rather? The alligator or the two sharks? It is kind of sweet that they're all getting along well. I should send this to my mom. She lives in Florida and she's always worried about alligators and sharks, but in separate water locations at different times. So if I send this to her, then she's just gonna be scared all the time. <laughs> Sorry, mom, I love you. I don't mean it. So this is a waiting room at a dentist's office, and I don't know whether to be horrified or super impressed, and also feeling like I should applaud this dentist for going the extra mile and being just a little bit unique. I don't want to tear down creativity, but this kind of makes me nervous. I feel like I just got eaten by something, by a giant. All right, guys, well, I think I traumatized you all as much as I was traumatized last weekend by my incident and thus spawned this video concept to begin with. So thank you for becoming traumatized with me because we're just one big happy family here and I love you guys. But as always, if you made it this far in the video and you would like me to, I don't know, do some more Reddit reaction, what have you, if you have a specific idea, let me know in the comments below and make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.